Chops is one of the low-key NPCs out there and he relatively has a short quest line and today I will be guiding you on how to complete it. After doing his quest, get exclusive quest rewards such as the Tops Bell Bearing, Tops Barrier and Erudition Gesture and of course you will get to know the outcome of his journey. So let's get right to it. First things first, for the sake of the video and to make this guide concise, I have just included the necessary steps to progress the quest. If the dialogues are your concerns, no worries about that, I will be making a separate video for it like what I did to Ronnie the Witch. Moving on to step 1 is meeting Tops in the Church of Irid near the lake facing cliffs side of Grace, south of Lunia Lakes. Teleport your way there and the church should be visible right in the corner and head there and talk to him to start the quest line. Now for step 2 is giving him 10 runes for you to progress. Provide it and he will tell you about how to access Raya Lucaria Academy plus he gets to teach you some sorceries. Ultimately, he will request an Academy Glenstone Key as well if you ever find one. Step 3 is getting the first Glenstone Key. Yes, and we can have two Glenstone Keys in the game and to get the first one, head to the Temple Quarter Site of Grace which is located in the southwest of Raya Lucaria Academy and the location of the Glenstone Key is just north of your current location. Head there and right off the bath, you will notice that the glintstone dragon is guarding the key. You may engage or skip the fight but the key is just lying around behind the dragon. Step 4 is accessing the Raya Lucaria Academy. Now that we do have the key, the next destination is of course Raya Lucaria Academy. What I usually do is teleport your way to the Lakshian Ruins side of grace and access the way gate there directly to Raya Lucaria's gate. Now that we are inside, step 5 is defeating the Red Wolf of Radagon. Step 5 is progressing in Royal Lucari and defeating one of the mini bosses in this level. From the main gate, access the lift and progress to the castle entrance. Past the entrance, activate the nearest side of grace just for later access just in case you need to go back here. Thread the graveyard in here with the zombies indeed. Be careful as they can gank you so easily. Progressing enough will let you reach the lifts that you can ride so you can access the upper parts of Raya Lucaria. Raya Lucaria is like a maze but follow me here and you will be fine. After gaining enough height, jump off from the lift and activate the schoolhouse classroom side of grace and proceed to the long hallway with a lot of Raya Lucaria scholars or sorcerers alike. Proceed with caution and access the upper floor and find the fog door that will lead you to the boss that we need to defeat. And of course, after defeating the wolf, access the debate parlor side of grace so you can have this checkpoint. Step 6 is my favorite one, it is getting the second glintstone key. For step 6, we need to get the second glintstone key by traversing the majority of Raya Lucaria Academy. This is quite a long run so bear with me and from the debate parlor side of grace, access the courtyard and take a sharp left turn and climb the debris to access the upper areas where the sorcerers are. You will be able to see a path ahead of the stone railings in here so jump over that. After doing so, head on the castle roofs and this is where the parkour runs begins. Pass the marionettes, climb the ladder and proceed to the bridge. This is quite a long one and quite a scenic one and after reaching the end, head right and jump off on the lower roofs of the castle. This is a little bit confusing at first and follow me here to avoid losing your way. Definitely I had fun doing this. And after following the path, you will be able to see the castle's entrance roof. It is the one that looks like a church. Jump to it and access its attic by going in through the windows. Cross the supporting pillars here and slow your way down and head to one of the chandeliers in here to finally get the key. We are about to finish this questline but before anything else, if you are in straight to the point guides, tips and tricks like this one or you just love Japanese role playing games, you are in the right place. Consider subscribing to the channel and enjoy weekly content and liking the video will help me more than you can imagine. Now for step 7, it is high time to provide the key to Tops. Return to the church of Irit and give him the key. He will be thankful for your deeds and reward you with the erudition gesture. 
a gesture that you can use to unlock one of the tower rises in the game. I also released a guide on how to unlock and solve all the puzzles of the tower rise in the game, so definitely check that out in the card here. Time for the final step and after exhausting Top's dialogue in Church of Irit, head to the schoolhouse classroom side of grace in Royal Lucaria. This is one of the side of grace that you activated when you did your run here. And finally, and head outside of the schoolhouse classroom where the lifts are and notice his ill-fated state. Check him and get Top's barrier, his bell bearing, and lastly an academy glenstone staff. And that's the end of Top's questline, a very sad ending indeed. And believe it or not, that's the end of it. It's relatively short as I mentioned. And wait for the full walkthrough with all the dialogues as well. And as always, I hope you find this guide useful. And if you learn a thing or two, don't forget to like the video for the algorithm, you know, and subscribe to the channel. Drop your questions below and I will get to them as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching. For more Elden Ring content, keep it locked here at GRPG Samurai. Stay awesome and safe, and I will catch you on the next one.